Over the last 10 years, I've created 21 different income streams that make me money every single month. And it took a lot of hard work and I've never really revealed this anywhere else before. But in this video, I'm gonna break down all 21 of these ideas in case you're trying to figure out how to build a life on your own terms, make money from home, write your own checks, be your own boss. And here's the deal. I've worked a lot of different jobs. I've mowed grass. I mean, like a lot of grass, like mowed fields, mowed riding lawnmowers, push lawnmowers, weed whackers. That was a whole thing for a season. I waited tables. I worked at a burger restaurant called Red Robin. Red Robin. Yum. Washing dishes, bussing tables. I was a host, an expo, and eventually a waiter for over 10 years. I always was working on my dream job, being able to work from home on my own terms while I had a day job. No matter what season you're in, I believe it's possible more than ever before to use the internet, use social media, and use these 21 ways to actually build a life and business on your own terms. You gotta just press record. The first way that I really started to generate money online was affiliate marketing. And you could sign up for a website like amazon.com, start talking about products. I think the best platform to build your influence is YouTube. So I would do like product review videos or gift ideas for him videos. And if people clicked my affiliate links and purchased something, I got a percentage of that sale. And I'll never forget my first ever payment from Amazon affiliates was $2.12. Not a lot of money, but that was $2.12 more than my neighbor made that day, $2.12 more than my friends were making online, and it was proof of concept. And I began to catch a vision that this online income and multiple streams of income and passive income stuff is real. And so I began to keep seeing those numbers grow. And to be clear, all 21 of these income streams, I've generated at least $1,000 from, and and most of them, even six figures or seven figures as we go through them. So you can scale these over time. The second way was YouTube ads. As I started to get more momentum on YouTube, YouTube pays you once you get approved for the monetization uh, program, the YPP, the YouTube Partner Program, based on the views on your videos. And I started to earn extra money from that as well. So then affiliate marketing and YouTube ad revenue became two income streams that started to stack and grow over time. Now, as we go into these next 19 streams of income, let's define the difference between active income and passive income. Some of these, you have to keep trading your time for money, but at least you'll be on your own terms. Maybe get to work from a home office or the hours you choose to work. Others, after you've done the upfront work when it's truly passive, it means you do the work once and yet it continues to pay you for weeks, months, and years to come. One of my favorite things about the first two ways of multiple streams of income that I've created is a YouTube video, if created right, can rank in search, be suggested by YouTube, and can be watched a year later, two years later. I have videos that are eight, nine years old that are still being watched, earning money with affiliate marketing, and YouTube ad revenue. So that's some serious passive income. So we'll clarify active and passive as we keep going. Number three, ebook sales. Around 2015, I wrote an ebook called YouTube for Churches and I priced it at $7. Now, with the Amazon Kindle program, Amazon keeps 30% of the sale and you get 70% of the sale. And the cool thing about an ebook is that I didn't have to print any books, ship any books. Amazon will do that for you through CreateSpace, but it was a pretty simple process. Project. I designed the cover myself. I wrote the book in Microsoft Word. And then I used some software called ePubStar or something like that. There's probably better softwares today to format it and then upload it to Amazon. And I was able to generate thousands of dollars of revenue. Now, in addition to YouTube ads, affiliate marketing, and now my own book by writing an ebook. Number four is physical books and audiobooks. A few years after I wrote my ebook, YouTube for Churches, I wrote a book with my friend Benji called YouTube Secrets. We earn money directly from Amazon. It's a self-published book. And so by the time you take out the cost of the book and then Amazon's cut and then what, however they do shipping, on a $15 book, we earn something like $7 per book. On the audiobook, we actually make money if people just sign up for a free Audible trial or if they use one of their credits to purchase the book. And 
we've been blessed to have almost 60,000 people, I think, get one of the formats of the book. It's also in digital as well. And it has generated a lot of revenue, a lot of income as another stream of income in addition to everything else. Number five is brand sponsorships. Once you start building your influence on YouTube and get some momentum, you have the opportunity to work with other brands that will potentially give you free product, allow you to market their product potentially as an affiliate, maybe at a higher commission or with other incentives. And additionally, they will also pay you to potentially create creative videos for them. And so on my Thick Media channel over the years, I've worked with Amazon and Canon and vidIQ and DJI and Sony in different capacities through brand sponsorships. Back in the day, it doesn't exist in the same way anymore. I worked through a service called FameBit, which pairs creators with brand sponsors. And sometimes I earned $100 a video and got a free product and also got to talk about it and promote it as an affiliate. Other times I earned $500. And today I've done six figure deals in the brand sponsorship arena. And again, I know those are some pretty big numbers, but remember, I'm just a small town kid, college dropout, I started shooting videos in my bedroom, and all of this started really small. But we are living through such a remarkable time, especially in the midst of rising unemployment and disruption and pandemics and people looking for extra ways to make revenue. I'm not saying this stuff happens overnight, but I am saying this is possible, it is real, and if you go all in, little by little, a little can be come a lot with these income streams. Number six is licensing content. About a decade ago, when I was doing a video production business as really a stream of income as well, I also started to shoot photos and create B-roll clips that I could upload to websites like iStock Photo and iStock Video at the time. Today, there's websites like Adobe Stock or Video Hive. And if you have a passion for cinematography, for photography, if you wanna make sound effects or you're good at making beats, there's a lot of websites where you can license your music, your content, and actually continue to get paid those royalties, which can really become massive passive income. I think about songs that are ranked on a website like Audio Jungle. And once that song is loved by people, is high rated and starts kind of being ranked, people just keep buying it and purchasing that song to use in their content. If you could get your music on a website like Epidemic Sound or Music Bed or something like that, your music, your beats could be earning you revenue through licensing your content. Number seven is freelance video production and social media services. Now, think about what you could do as a freelancer, uploading and promoting your services on a website like upwork.com. For me, I've been doing video since 2003 when I was volunteering at my youth group at church. So eventually, I started to do music videos and wedding videos and videos for like local restaurants in Marysville, Washington, where I grew up, and social media services for uh, to help people build websites or set up their social media or set up their YouTube channel. So this became an active income stream. Number eight is consulting. Now today, I work with a lot of brands or businesses or different influencers and personalities to help them grow their influence on YouTube. But a few years back, right after I wrote my book, YouTube for Churches, I spent a season where I would travel to some different churches and different ministries and help them with social media, with YouTube, and they would hire me to consult for them and actually talk through our process or coach their team or work through a consulting basis. Number nine is one-on-one -on -one coaching. Over the years, I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching in person, but mainly online. And the cool thing about this is you can set up a simple page, even something like paypal.me forward slash your name, and people could pay you money and then you could jump on Zoom and actually help them with some piece of advice or social media or a website review or whatever it is. For me, it's mostly been about YouTube, reviewing their YouTube channels and helping people grow. But I know people that do parenting coaching, life coaching, fitness coaching, pastoral coaching, all kinds of different things that you could do in this income stream. 10, paid speaking gigs. Now, getting paid to be a speaker is a great income stream. Of course, it's active. And before the pandemic, I was doing this a lot. And I built up to a place where people would hire me and pay me to come speak at their event. But for me, it didn't start that way. I started by doing a lot of free speaking, a lot of volunteer speaking, sometimes 
sometimes at my own expense going to an, an event just to have a chance to speak and grow my skills and get in front of people and potentially maybe bring awareness to a project or a product or just my brand in some other way. So I've spoke in a free setting, in a paid setting, in a setting where I'm allowed to talk about my book or other things like that. And then of course the pandemic happened, so virtual events happen. So sometimes I'll get to speak at a virtual event and either be paid or I'll speak for free and maybe I could talk about one of our products or our programs. But paid speaking is one of the best income streams, especially if you have a passion for it. Now, as we get ready to go into the second half of these 21 income streams that earn me money every single month, I wanna encourage you I did not start with all 21 of these income streams. There's something about the power of focus and picking one and getting some movement on it, some momentum on it, some traction with it before adding on other income streams. If you focus on multiple streams of income and do too much too soon, it'll slow you down or it might keep you stuck. And as you are growing though, and thinking about these 21 income streams as like a menu for you to design your perfect mix of income streams that's right for your niche and your brand, I encourage you to start with one and then add on other income streams that are related and then eventually automated. For example, when you're doing YouTube videos, you keep getting YouTube ads, and that's related to also doing affiliate marketing and talking about products, which is also related to you getting awareness maybe and some people wanting to hire you for coaching, which is then related to people also potentially hiring you to come speak at their event, which is related to you've been shooting footage so you can license that footage, which is related to the fact that brands may you want to work with you now. So for me, I wanted to connect all of these, not focus on all of them at once, but add on more income streams as I went along over the last decade. And remember, the IRS revealed that the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So they probably didn't start with seven, but eventually building up multiple streams of income is a powerful way to build a life and business on your own terms. Which brings us to number 11, which is YouTube channel memberships. And you can see this is super related. Once you build some momentum on your YouTube channel, people can actually subscribe for a certain amount of money per month for exclusive and bonus content. This is actually something we just do on my video influencers channel with the co-author of YouTube Secrets, Benji Travis. And for extra behind the scenes and Q&A each month and some other things, people pay a few dollars a month for exclusive content. Then there is a 70%, 30% split with YouTube. So let's say your channel membership was $10 a month, you'd get seven, YouTube would get three of each of those memberships. But then if you keep serving that group of people, then that money's coming in every month. It's probably gonna be somewhat active because you're showing up for Q&A or uploading extra videos, but it's also nice because that money could be coming in every month in kind of a passive capacity. Number 12 is YouTube Super Chats. Now this is a way for people to actually kind of tip you and give you money why you're live on YouTube or why you are premiering one of your videos. And when I do a show like Coffee with Cannell, which is a every other week show that I do on our Think Media podcast channel, people, if they like a point or they just wanna say thank you, they might drop $5 or $50. I've seen people give $100. And this brings in another stream of income that certainly is active. It's usually why you're adding value, why you're going live, why you're entertaining or why you're educating. And I wanna encourage you, you could see how woven these are with YouTube. I think YouTube is the best way to start making making money and building extra streams of income. And there's so many different ways to monetize. But if you haven't even started yet or you wanna get more momentum on your YouTube channel, make sure to check out the training that I did on how to reach your first 1,000 subscribers. To get memberships, to get Super Chats, you actually need to hit certain thresholds to unlock those features. And so if you want help with that, it's here on YouTube. It's an entirely free training. Definitely check that out and I'll link that up in the YouTube description below. Number 13 is merch. Now, this is a way for you to earn extra income through creating coffee mugs, hats, hoodies, fanny packs, all kinds of different things. And with the invention of print-on-demand websites like Teespring or Represent and the integration of these merch companies with a merch shelf on YouTube, this can be a cool way to add an additional income stream every month. 14 is online courses. Do you have knowledge? Do you have a skill? Do you have something you could teach to help others overcome a problem or learn something new? Then creating an e-learning online course is one of the best ways to create another stream of income. In fact, Forbes revealed that by 2025, the e-learning industry is gonna be in almost a $1 billion a day 
industry. $1 billion a day by 2025. That's a lot of top line money. And a portion of that is going to the self learning the self-directed online course creator community. And so this could be a major way for you to reach autonomy and build autonomy in your life and in your business. And it could be a great form of passive income. Of course, it starts being active because you have to create the course first, but then you can upload it and you could sell it on autopilot for weeks, months, and years to come. Now, when it comes to where you host an online course like this, I typically recommend you use a website like a Kajabi or like a Thinkific or a Teachable. And if you want to see a list of some of of our favorite tools. We have a website called thinkmediatools.com. But there's also websites like Udemy and Skillshare, which are a little bit easier to manage. And some people have uploaded their online course to udemy.com and it sits there and it can sell for weeks, months, and years to come without them doing anything. So you can start seeing how powerful of a passive income source that could be. Number 15 is JV Partnerships. Now that stands for Joint Venture Partnerships, which is a fancy way of basically saying you're going to be an affiliate for somebody else's course or event. And so in the past, we've maybe promoted a YouTube conference for a friend of ours. They give us a special link, and it's basically our affiliate link where we earn a little bit off of that sale if somebody purchases a ticket to the event. A lot of times this happens with online courses. So we don't help everybody with everything. Like here on Think Media, we help people with YouTube. But I know that there's a lot of skill sets you need to learn to really have legacy and longevity and profitability as an online entrepreneur and as a content creator. And maybe that's leadership. Maybe that's learning a specialized skill like doing marketing challenges. Maybe that's learning marketing and online business or learning Facebook ads or a million other things. So if we promote a friend's course or somebody's course that we believe in, oftentimes there's gonna be an affiliate relationship there which creates another stream of income. Whew, I told you this is a masterclass. Are you ready for more? Okay, here we go. Number 16, event ticket sales. As you continue to build momentum, as you maybe decide if someday you'd wanna host your own event, then you can start making another income stream by selling tickets to an event. Now, this doesn't have to be in person. It could be a virtual event. It could be a paid challenge. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. It could be a summit that's for free or paid. And we don't even have time to go into it, but at Think Media, we actually have a whole training on 10 different ways to earn money from an online event, whether that is at the event, talking about merch, selling the recordings from the event, doing a JV partnership with somebody else at the event. There's a lot of cool things you could do, but maybe it's your ambition to encourage, to gather people, to get other guest speakers, to do something virtual. Event ticket sales is a whole nother income stream. And speaking of events, number 17 is online challenges. And I kind of mentioned that, but this is something that here at Think Media, we mainly have done them free. They're free challenges, but when someone signs up, they have the chance to get VIP. What does that mean? If you want the recordings for life, if you want first in line Q&A, if you want access to some extra Zoom meetings or coaching meetings or something. And I have a lot of friends that'll sometimes do paid challenges. Maybe it's only $10, maybe it's $20. And to be clear, this is like a three-day weight loss challenge, a five-day speed reading challenge, a seven-day leadership challenge. There's a lot of different ways you can do challenges. And we actually have a Think Media podcast episode that goes deep in challenges if you want to learn more. And so, of course, check out all the resources that will be summarized in the YouTube description of this video. Now, we've got four more income streams to talk about, but I want to pass the question off to you and say, have you started earning money with any of these income streams? Or which one do you like best or do you feel like aligns with your skill set the most? Tell me in the comments down below because you got to just start. You know, it could seem overwhelming and this list is pretty daunting, but I want to encourage you. It's been a 10 to 15 year journey to build all of this up and a lot of momentum has happened because of the compound effect over the years. And this kind of shifts us into a different dimension of income streams because number 18 is rental income. And that's where you invest in some property and you're actually making money from renting out that property. Of course, you could rent out office space or something like this. But this actually started way back in the day for my wife and I. We had a rental property and we had roommates where we had rental income back in 2007 and 2008. We then got crushed by the big short and learned a lot of lessons, and now we've been entering back into that season today. And so eventually, you might be able to take your business profits, your multiple streams of active and passive income profits, and invest them into assets 
like real estate. And number 19, actual investments of money you've earned. And this is passive income, right? It could be interest, it could be Bitcoin, it could be stocks. At the time of recording this video, I put $3,000 on Bitcoin when it was at 10 and it's shot up to near 50. And so that's now $13,000. This is not investment advice. And there's plenty of personal finance channels that you can check out. But when it comes to creating income streams, investments are absolutely one of the most highly leveraged decisions you wanna start making with profits from other projects. Number 20. 20, and Dave Ramsey's gonna hate me for this one, but it's cash back on business credit cards. As our business has grown, as we've started to invest in travel over the years and we've invested in marketing, whether that's doing paid ads on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, sometimes we spend a lot of money and we put them on credit cards. Now, one of the things I learned about everyday millionaires is that they always pay off their credit card balance. So what I'm not suggesting here is stacking up consumer debt. Of course, you do you, but I'm talking about strategically using business credit cards and leveraging the cash back. What I do know is that money is real. What I do know is that the cash we get back from spending wisely our business expenses on business credit cards is a whole nother income stream. And 21 is equity in other businesses. And before you tune out on this one, this is a big deal because there's a couple of ways this might apply to you. The first is that as you grow your influence on YouTube, there's gonna be maybe startup companies, brand sponsorships that you have a chance to work with that can't pay you as much in actual dollars, but might be able to give you some equity. Secondly, you might wanna team up with somebody that's building a YouTube channel, that's building a business, that's building a startup. And again, they might give you a lower salary, but you have a chance to get a little bit of equity in in the deal. One of the most highly leveraged ways that certainly comes with a level of risk is operating and getting potentially equity instead of cash when you're working on different projects. And this has become another dimension of the overall multiple streams of income empire that's been building over the last decade. We did it, 21 different income streams. But before you go, I wanna pass the question off to you. Is there any of these that you'd want me to go deeper on in a future video? Give me your feedback in the comments. You know, my goal is to help you win. Our mission at Think Media is to help 10,000 people create a full-time living doing what they love while making a difference in the world with YouTube. And I really believe in YouTube because that was the starting point. It was like the lead domino that led to all of these other ways of earning money. And I think you can carve your own path, but hopefully get value out of these. So what would you like to hear more about? What would you like for me to go deeper on in a future video? And again, it all starts with YouTube. So if you are just starting on YouTube or you wanna grow your channel and even get your first 1,000 subscribers, just click or tap the screen to watch my free training right here on YouTube that'll break down some of my best tips on how to do that or click the screen for another video from Think Media. Smash like if you got value. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.